Hi, welcome to our shoulder class circuit. Um, this is a rehabilitation group for anyone with any upper limb or uh, shoulder problems to get back to your normal function. Um, we tend to complete six sessions over six weeks and the sessions will normally take about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, we're going to complete a warm up um, at the start of the group just to help you um, reduce any risk of injury um, and to warm up sort of your muscles beforehand. Um, it's quite normal after the group to experience a bit of aching and things, especially after the first time you, you do them. Um, so don't worry too much about that, it's just your muscles and things getting used to the new exercises. Okay, so this is your shoulder class warm up. We do this before the classes to warm the body up so that we don't get little injuries while doing our exercises. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off just round the body nice and easy. Try to stretch as far forward and backwards as you can. And then I just go a little bit higher and then a little bit lower as we go. Alright, and then I just turn that into small circles as we're going outwards, making them bigger and bigger to where you can get to. Alright, so you can come all the way up. If you can only get to here, that's fine. And we're going to go the opposite way. And just warming the shoulder joint up and the muscles around the area. Take that up and down, so we're just going to go up with one, then the other. Again, we're going to warm up that shoulder. Okay, we're just going to do one for the neck when we just come over and wrap. And then back. Okay, we're going to do another one for the neck where we put the arm out. seconds that's fine and then get back to it and then just change it up to keep you interested we're halfway through if you're a bit too close you can step away get a better push in if you need to Also good for your hand-eye coordination so you can get a bit more work on your shoulder. Okay, so awareness of where you're going with the arm and the hand. So the next 
next exercise is what we call a figure of eight. So either a small ball or a water bottle or a tin of beans, something that's a little bit heavy for you to have a go at. What you're going to do is you're going to pass the ball behind your head and then behind your back. So you're going to do that for two minutes. Okay, so we'll start from now. So behind your head, I'm going to pass it to your other hand and then I'm going to pass that behind your back. Okay, so if I show you from behind, behind your head. Okay, so what you try and do is stretch as much as you can when you're doing this exercise. If you find it hard, then you can maybe go a little bit higher up rather than having to reach all the way behind your head. Okay. It's a really nice one to get your strength back as well as stretching it a little bit. Okay. So 
So what we're going to do is we go from here, we're just going to come straight across and down. Now most people should be using a green band. If this is too heavy for any reason, you can use a lighter band such as red or yellow, as long as you get your technique right. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to start here, shoulders should be back a little bit, you want to come down and across. Okay, so just touch the chest as you come across and then back up again. You can do a bit further out from the body if you want. I prefer to do it there, but you can do both techniques. Okay. What I don't want to see is you coming down and twisting your body. Okay, that won't help the shoulder. So we want to come down and across, keeping them shoulders back. Most injuries to the shoulder, this one is actually quite beneficial. Alright, you shouldn't get too many compensations such as twisting. Okay. So we're halfway through. So if we just get a good few of these in, you can take a breather at this point if you want to for a couple of seconds to recoup and then get back to it. You can do this at your rate. A lot of people when they do this, they like to turn their head. Not a big fan of that because you don't do that in normal life unless you want to look at something in your hand. So you want to be aware of what your shoulder is doing without using your eyes to tell you what your shoulder is doing so you can feel it instead or be aware of what your body is doing. So trying to do it without turning your head to watch your shoulder will help. Okay, and that's your two minutes up. Okay, so the next exercise is something that we call a sword with the TheraBand as well. So you want the TheraBand tied to slightly below you if you can. If not, then sort of door handle height is okay. But you want to start with the TheraBand down and across your body, okay? And then you're going to draw up and across like you draw a sword from your pocket, okay? So we're going to do two minutes of that. So we're going to come really nice and slowly across. Okay, and again, remember that your shoulder blades are back as you do it. You're trying to keep your arms straight as possible. Okay, and for some of you, you might not have the range of movement to do that, so coming just as far as you can. That way is okay. But what we don't want is any of this way you're leaning up to take it across, okay? So nice and straight arm, nice and straight shoulders, level shoulders to try and get that right technique. And again, same thing, if it's a little bit too hard, you can either make the band a little bit looser by stepping towards um, the thing that you've tied it to. Way. And same with all the other therapy exercises, don't rush it, okay? So the main thing is that you get the technique right and really the slower the better with it. So as you're coming down, don't let it just ping back down, try and control it. Okay, so you're controlling it all the way.
coming up behind your mat. You're going to hold on to the bottom of the towel like this. And then what you're going to do is try and use your other hand to help pull up. We're going to do two minutes of that, okay? So if I show you from behind, so you're going to try and pull as far up as you can. Nice and slow. You're going to hold it for a few seconds when you get to the highest point. difficult for you, what you can do is hold it this way and pull it like that. So if you can, try and do it with your hand behind your back. This is a really nice exercise for you having to, if you need to sort of do any undressing, dressing, Let's get that last little bit of rotation. So we're halfway with it. So if you want to rest for a second, you might need to rest for your other hand because sometimes it, it becomes a little bit achy having your other hand up the whole time too. But then when you're ready, just restart.
What I don't want to see is you turning your head and twisting your body and then sticking your head out to make it look like a presser. Okay, we're not a pitcher. Okay, so we're just going to come in and uh, try to keep your body straight as you go. It'll help you to lower the shoulder a little bit. Okay. So that's your wall presser. If you're at the next level, you can come down onto the floor. You can get off the floor there. Okay. And then we can do it like this. When you're in all fours, you just put your weight in. Or you can take your legs back a little bit, toes up and cross, put a bit in that way, and then you go into a normal press up. See how you feel first, make sure you're ready. And we can just do the normal press up, okay? And then I'll show you a few of the different ones here. Okay, and we're halfway now, guys. Hopefully, you picked a good one and you carry it on. Or you can go to the whole four. Just nice and slow, pace yourself. 
So we're at halfway, so with this one, it can make your shoulders a little bit achy. So if you need to put the stick down a second, that's absolutely fine. Get yourself warmed up with your shoulders again and then bring them back up to the center. If you've got any low back problems, anything like that, then you can always do it in sitting. Just as you're sitting, make sure your shoulders are back and you're not slumped all the way forward. And again, if you don't have anything like a stick or anything lying around, then you can do it with your, just your arms out in front or your arms across your chest. Is a shoulder rehabilitation circuit so the video is here for you to come to each week to complete and your physio will be in contact with you thank you